Howdy, howdy, folks. It's Donnie once again. And this time we are going to look at the third and final section of our systemd service files. This time we're going to look at the install section, which basically just defines what run level, well, except we don't call them run levels anymore, <laughs> what target the uh, service is going to start up in. And so in this case, uh, probably it's going to be either graphical target or a multi-user target, or probably one or the other. And it can also be used to define aliases for the service. And one thing I forgot to put here, it can also define other services that will be enabled or disabled when you either enable or disable this particular service. So let's go over here and take a look. And for our example, we're going to be looking at the Avahi daemon service. So let's go ahead here, come into that. And so we have the unit there and the service sections, uh, same stuff we just looked at. But we go down here to the bottom to the install section and we see there that it is wanted by the multi-user.target. So this means that when our machine boots into multi-user mode, this service will start. Well, it's supposed to start, okay? If it doesn't start, well, you know, it'll log a failure and uh, the, or the uh, operating system, rather, will just keep on going. Now, we could also have this set as required by instead of wanted by. And it would look something like this. Now, if we had it re set to required by instead of wanted by, then it would mean that when our machine goes into multi-user mode, if the service cannot start for some reason, then the machine just would not finish booting up. Okay, so rather than required by, we'll just keep that as wanted by. And we have our Avahi daemon socket here, which uh, is an also, so that means that this socket has to be enabled whenever we enable the Avahi daemon service. And then we have the alias. So with the alias, yeah, it just means that we could uh, basically just start this or stop it. You, we can use another name, okay? Whatever name is here, you know, we can uh, use to start or stop this, all right? And really, that's pretty much it. That's, that's your install section, all right? Uh, anyway, let's go ahead now and look at a little something else here. Ah, I didn't want to do that. All right, let's uh, see if we can find something with the graphical target. All right, so we got a couple there. So let's look at the RK. Kit, yeah, rtkit.daemon. Let's look at that. And we see here, that's something that's just going to run in the graphical target. So uh, with this particular one here, we go to multi-user mode. Now the other ones that were listed for multi-user mode, you know, they're still going to run when we go up to our graphical target. Okay, so if, if they're listed with multi-user target as wanted by multi-user target, they're going to keep running when we get into the graphical target. Okay, but the ones that are listed as wanted by graphical target, all right, if we just go into text mode, we boot into our text mode multi-user target, then these, anything that's, that's uh, wanted by the graphical target will not run. But once we go into the graphical target, then anything that 
is one that my graphical target will run. All right, simple as that, right? All right, so anyway, that's pretty much it. I really can't say a whole lot more about the install section. I mean, <laughs> that is it, okay? So anyway, that finishes the three tutorials about the systemd service file. And again, I encourage you to look at the man page, the one that I've, I've shown you already in the previous two videos, and uh, just go through there and you know, take a look and you know see what you got in there. And just uh, you know go in there and you know look through these different service files and just get familiar with what they look like and get familiar with, with what's there and it'll help you out later if you ever have to write your own system D service files. And that's really it, folks. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned because there will be some more system D tutorials of some sort coming up in the near future. So if you like the videos, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.